Hey, welcome to the occasional beer for May 12th, uh, 2019. So two things. Uh, number one, it's my daughter's oldest daughter, Mar Jade's 18th birthday. I officially am a father of an 18 year old. <sighs> That's crazy. Um, 18 years ago, my daughter changed my life, made me a father. Lots of stuff has followed. I, I love her so much. I'm so proud of her. She's so smart and pretty and gorgeous and creative um and passionate she she's just she lights up my life in so many ways and I, I don't tell her that enough um but she's all those things um and she's officially like being accepted to do ece at durham college next year which is what she really wanted to do she loves working with kids so that's amazing. Like, you know, it's not a job I'd want to do. I get that. I want to work with young young people. So that I get it. But I, little kids, I'm not. I They're small. I bend over. It's, it's not good. But she loves working with kids. And so that's what she's passionate about. And what she'd like to do as a career. I'm so proud of her. She's 18. Like, you know. Don't get me wrong. There's times I can kill her. But I am so proud of my, my daughter, Mara Jade. Um. And for anyone who's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you one. For anyone who's like, Mara Jade, that's a really interesting name. Quick story. Her her name is Mara Jade. Someone just dinged me. Um, because um, Mara Jade is the name of a Star Wars character in the books. Not in the movies, nothing to do with the movies. But they released, for, before I'm being dinged. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help it. Um, before they made all these new movies before the prequels even this is way before the prequels um they finally started releasing books about star wars um and so the first set of books was by a guy named timothy zahn and he uh set them five years after return of the jedi and you find out there's a character named mara jade mara first name jade last name and she used to be the emperor's head assassin she was called the emperor's hand and then never dies. No one knows about her. She ends up losing everything and starting over and stuff. And so she hates Luke Skywalker. And in the books, she captures Luke Skywalker. And then throughout the books, the books continue on. She becomes friends with Luke Skywalker. And like he trains her in the force because she's force sensitive. And then like 20 years later in the books, they get married and have kids. So um, we just going through names. We we. Heard the, I guess, heard the name Mara Jade, and I was like, mm, Mara Jade, it's a really pretty name. Um, only like two people have ever connected where it's from. And when I when I said, what's your name, Mara Jade? And they went, oh, Star Wars? And I was like, oh, really? This is when I loved Star Wars. I'm not a huge Star Wars fan anymore, but I, I loved the books. Loved them. They were great. Uh, so much better than anything filmed since the originals. So, but anyway. So that's where her name is from, and uh, it got a lot of grief, but it's, I can't imagine calling her anything else. Mara Jade Elizabeth Percival, but we mainly call her Mara Jade. Um, I call her Mara Jade more than anyone else. She called Mara for short, for a long time, but she's always Mara Jade to me. Um, so that, it's her 18th birthday. That's awesome. Happy birthday. Secondly, I officially got my last mark back from Tyndale today. Um, I had to... There's a mix-up somehow with the computer, so I literally had to email my teacher, my professor, and be like, hey, when am I getting the mark? And he's like, I submitted the mark already. I don't know why you don't have it. But so just to be official, I did a science course on earth sciences, I got a, which online, I got an A-plus on that. Shocking. I did English Lit Literature 101. Uh, I got an A-plus on that. Shocking. I did Literature and Composition um same teacher as the other one again him adam adam lee great man love him hope to hang out with him soon um because we got on really well um but yeah so he i got an a plus in his second course literature and i wasn't super shocked about that one but I, I worked really hard um so i had three a pluses i never had marks this good ever and then my last one which was a fourth year course every other course i took was like a first year course this is a fourth year course there's only seven of us in the whole course uh, and then midway through the course, we had to go online and finish it all up and submit everything online, which actually probably worked out to my advantage because um, it gave me a bit more time and and less stress, even though it was stressful, especially the last two weeks of school. But 
I finally got back my grade and he told me, uh, he's like, oh, your grade's there. He goes, but, you know, contact them. And he said, P.S., you did really well. You got a B plus. So I was hoping for a C plus. I was like, I think I'm going to get a C. But I'm like, fingers crossed if I worked really hard, maybe I'll get a C plus. I got a B plus. I apparently have brains. I am as shocked as anyone. And I'm like, why didn't I have these the first time around? Because I joke, but first time around when I was at Tyndale, I used to like midway through class go, hmm, I'm bored. Let's go play pool. <laughs> I don't do that this time. This time I'm like, I read every book. I like every book that they tell me to read, I read. Some of them, they're like, maybe read this one. I read that one too if I can. So I'm much more studious than I'm older. I take it much more seriously. Um, and my grades reflect that, so... Yeah, my first year at Tyndale, I didn't even know if I could go back to school. Like, I didn't know if I'd be able to go back to school, but going back to school, I didn't know if my brain would work well enough because of all the things I've done to it and electroshock therapy and all that stuff. And it's not easy, and there are hard times, especially with my depression. There were times when I just had a really hard time schooling. But three A pluses and one B plus says that I can do this. So I got eight more courses to finish up in the next two years. So... That's all I wanted to, I kind of wanted to update everybody. My daughter turned 18. God, I love her. She's it's like, God, I love her. She's so amazing. He knows that already, but you know. And uh, I'm not dumb. <laughs> I am shocked. Like, I, you don't understand. I thought I was stupid. The super quick version is I was told in grade four by a teacher that I was stupid. In front of the entire class, she yelled at me that I was stupid, which stuck with me for years it wasn't until I got to college the first time university that I thought I was told you're not dumb you're smart what are you talking about and I even then and still to this day there are times when I think I'm dumb apparently I'm not dumb that lady was wrong she just didn't like me I'm smarter than she thought I was that's all I got for today god bless you have an awesome day thanks for watching